Hey guys, editing me here. I am editing this footage and I don't know why, well I have an idea why, but I don't know exactly why the phone is picking up all kinds of crazy audio. It's doing like weird audio things. So if you're willing to put up with it, go ahead and watch through. If not, then I'll see you the next one because I think me putting the cutting board on top of my baking island is causing like this hollow audio problem and it's kind of frustrating me as I'm editing so I'm pretty sure it might frustrate you as you watch. If it doesn't, stick Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. It is Monday and per usual lately we have been doing Goodwill 75% off Monday hauls. I go into the store and I see what I can find that is the color of the week. Now I do have quite a few pieces here but a lot of them are multiples so if it doesn't take too long then we will dive into the regular price items. But for now, we are going to start off with the 75% off items that I did find this week. I've kind of broken it down for you guys a few times how the sell cycles work in our Goodwills. I did find something that is a personal item that I will not be putting into the shop. I wanted this one the last few times that I've gone and I've seen it. It was only $2, but I didn't want to pay $2 for something that had a chip. He is a gorgeous Taiwan teapot with this beautiful brown glaze on the top. Just an overall really pretty piece. The only problem is that here on the spout, it's kind of typical for them to have chips, which is unfortunate. And this one was priced at $2, but it was green tag, as you can see there, so I did get it for 50 cents. I thought for 50 cents I could definitely save them from the landfill or going to the bins and getting beat up even more, so I brought him home with me. Moving into some false graph, I saw these there a few for a few weeks now and they were four pieces for four dollars I didn't want to pay that that made it about a dollar a mug and unless it's something that I know is really unique or really popular I won't pay a dollar a mug unless I can get a good return on it since they were green tag they were only a dollar for all four mugs making them a quarter a piece so you can see here the false graph imprint it has a really pretty off-white color and then the green rim with the cute little Christmas tree on the inside. A quarter a cup, you can't beat that. I'm going to be listing quite a few Christmas items in the eBay store coming here pretty soon because I'm kind of just adding them together in a big box, letting them collect because I like to find really cool Christmas things and then I think more towards the Christmas holiday everybody will start looking for different stuff. So this is just going to go into my box of Christmas goodies. I found this butter dish. They had it there for $3. It's also the false graph, plain white line. Very pretty, it's very dusty. Needs to be cleaned and polished and sanitized and all that, but you can see here the imprint on the bottom and it was three bucks, so I only paid 75 cents for that. So that is awesome. It's very clean, no chips, cracks, anything. So I'm excited to get that cleaned up. You can see whoever had it, had it displayed out like in their kitchen because it has a lot of that kitchen oil around the sides from the grease in the air so once that's all cleaned up it's going to be shiny and like new okay so these dishes it came in a stack like this right it's four pieces and then if you look down there the cup says mainstays so the cups really aren't anything they're not even worth anything really but these i knew were not walmart these are the Port Marion Blue Harvest Made in England dishes. Now this has all of that like old kitchenware and stuff like that. That will come off no problem. That is going to look beautiful once it's clean. It's going to look just like this. So I got three of these sets. Each of them have one, two, three, four, the four pieces. They were all stacked together and taped up for $5 and they were green tag. So I paid $1.25 for all four pieces. That is awesome. It came with the side plate. And you can see the brand better there. And it comes with the dinner plate. Check that out. Beautiful. And these are dishwasher, microwave, and freezer safe Made in England, 1995. I am super ecstatic about these. They are in great condition, no chips, no cracks, no breaks. They just need to be cleaned up and get all that gunk off as far as the stains and stuff. 
good thing is is that if anything remains on the bottom it won't be that bad because the inside is great so I'm excited about that I did pick up three sets at $1.25 each set next I was really happy with this one this one is a Furio home made in Italy oven and microwave safe dishwasher safe platter it's like a terracotta red clay very pretty Italian platter and it was green tag for a dollar that means I only paid a quarter for it which is pretty amazing for Italian anything so I think I could get at least 12 to 14 dollars for that one that is beautiful okay so for the last 75% off items we actually are doing pretty good on time so I'll just hurry up and get through this and then we'll dive into the regular price items I found this five piece set of Indonesian dishes and there was a four piece set each one has five dishes teacup beautiful and they're really foggy and dusty like they really need to be cleaned but these are the pieces that I love to get cleaned up and polished and just make look like so immaculate in the light they just look beautiful and then when it comes time to take pictures of them they look amazing and all of these were priced five pieces for six dollars so that means we pay a buck fifty yeah we paid a buck fifty for each set of five dishes. The next piece is the little saucer that comes with the teacup. Look at how beautiful that is, oh my gosh. Okay, next is the bowl. It's a beautiful, crisp, clean blue glass. Salad plate, I guess. And then the dinner plate. You can see all of the tape residue that was on here because they pack them full of tape. I cannot wait to get these clean. Like they are so coated in dust, it's not even funny, but they're gonna look gorgeous. So the whole set was a buck fifty for all five pieces. Look at that. Wow. So for six bucks, I got 20 pieces. That's awesome and they're beautiful. Okay, so let's move on to the regular price items since we haven't taken up too much of your time and I'll move fairly quick. First thing is this spice rack. I love these old spice racks. One this size can sell for about 50 bucks with free shipping because it's lightweight and it is authentic vintage. It was five bucks, it's huge. And stuff like this I like to put into little nooks and crannies. I'll probably paint this one black. I have one that I painted black already. It's in great condition and it just needs to be cleaned up. You can see where the spice jars went at one point and I love that. So that was five bucks. Okay, so these, I'm not positive about these and I couldn't leave them. So I just bit the bullet and I figured if anything, if they're not what like I kind of think they are, then I'll just hold on to them myself. But they are gorgeous bowls. And I wanna say that these are the bowls that everybody likes to collect. Now, it doesn't look like yellowware, per se, where it's got that real heavy, like yellow grainy look, but it's a gorgeous bowl. Now, these do have some wear to them. Um, they seem to be like handmade because they're not perfect. Like this right here, I thought this was a break or a chip, where to go? This right here, but it's not. It's under the glaze and it's not like a perfect edge. So yeah, pick that one up for three bucks. That's what that one looks like. And I wanna say I see these like built up in people's collections. Like they sit them in there and they make them look real cute. Anyway, here's the second one. This one was two bucks, very pretty dish. So the clock is wrong <laughs> very nice this one has more wear on the edges I want to say these may have some age to them but anyway I figured for five bucks you get the big bowl and then the small one I thought that was worth it so I grabbed those two next I found this gorgeous lavender dish with this gold trim and it says 1794 Thune Czech Republic and it was two bucks and it is beautiful. Check that out. And of course the camera's not gonna pick up the actual like true color, but it is a 
gorgeous piece, but it is so nice, such a pretty piece. And it's got a gold trim going around it. And I thought for two bucks, somebody out there will love that for sure. So when we moved in here, the hubby went into the attic, like the brave man that he is, over the fireplace, because our fireplace is ginormous size. And the attic, or the chimney goes up and it narrows in the attic. And he went in there and like went around in the space and it's like, it's it was so crazy. Anyway, he found a Schlitz beer can <laughs> in the back part of I guess where whoever it was that was working there was putting the chimney together, which is nice to know. But we still have that can, and when I saw this, I had to get it. It's the Schlitz beer mug, the beer that made Milwaukee famous, and it's just a really cute little pattern. It's in great condition. It was only a dollar, so I figured somebody out there is gonna have some kind of love for Schlitz beer. So I picked that up, and I will be putting that one in the shop. I thought it was great. It's in good condition very nice it's not something you see every day so I got that I did pick this guy up he's missing his nose but I figured if anything I could fix that myself because nutcrackers are very expensive they're pretty pricey when they're all wood and well made this one was two bucks and he's just missing his nose you can see right there but I mean he's very nice looking very clean so I figured for Christmas that would be a great little decor piece so I found this can, it says one pound weight Rosebud brand coffee. And I just thought the canister was a very pretty blue color and it has a little lift clasp. I thought that was precious. You can reuse it, use it as decor and it was only a dollar. So why not? It's a very nice size jar. I like the hardware or canister. I like the hardware. It's just really pretty so I did pick that up next I found this set it was a five piece set of this little everyday Gibson cute dishwasher safe pedestal mug I thought those were absolutely gorgeous and typically I sell things in a set of four but when it comes with a random one like this I usually list it at a set of four price but then I'll throw in the extra one for free I'll just make sure that I can accommodate the shipping price into all that. These were $4 for five, which brings my purchase price under a dollar, which is something that I really like. And these are just really nice. They're not too small, they're not too big, they're footed, they're a little dainty, but still durable. They look like that. Cute. I did pick up the set of five. That was three, and then here's two more. Next is a personal item. I have a lot of these little like recipe um, mugs, but this one is not that. This is a Japan, but it says bean soup, and it just reminded me of those little mugs. It's got that brown glaze, the blue letters on the front. It is vintage Japan, so precious. I love that, so I did get that, and that one was 99 cents. Next, I got this Elizabeth Arden Kitty. It is a kitty trinket box. And I looked it up and it looks like it can sell for about $25, 25 to, I say 25 to like 29 with shipping included. It's a gorgeous kitty. Caught my attention, I couldn't put it down. I knew it was something nice and I looked it up and sure enough, this is one of the pricier ones. This one in like the tall cat. They have one that's like a round little fat cat that's like in a ball. That one doesn't sell as much, but this one was a little bit pricier than that one. And then there's another tall cat that was a little bit more up there. But these are really cute and I paid $3 for it. I thought it was nice. So I got that. And plus I'm not allowed to have cats because we have all dogs. So it's a cute kitty. Alrighty, for the last few items that I picked up, I actually have an entire box of these season greetings glasses and I cannot wait to go through my vintage inventory and start listing some of it into eBay because I'm kind of doing a trial and error. I, I have an Etsy store, which I love, and then I am listing modern to eBay, but I'm trying to work in vintage into eBay as well to see how the traffic works because so far I'm loving it for the modern pieces and I wanna see if the vintage has the same kind of 
traction. So wish me luck on that, number one. But I have a whole box, like I found a whole box of these and I think it was like three or four dollars. I can't remember, but it couldn't have been no more than that. It was like an amazing price. Anyway, these were 99 cents a piece. I picked them up because I will be listing all of the Christmas goodies pretty soon here and I'm very excited to add them in. I love these glasses. I think they are so pretty. They are vintage um, anchor hawking glasses and they're just gorgeous with the red holly, the green trim, and then the red letters. It's like a stained glass kind of look beautiful. Okay, so that is pretty much it for my 75% off Monday slash regular priced Goodwill haul. I am super excited about everything that I got. I can't wait to get it separated and start boxing it so I can continue on with all of my inventory. Check out my stores, they'll be listed down below. I am super excited to be filling them up. If you don't know, I put a lot of, a lot of time into my shops. I really am proud of the pieces that I put in before I put in because they are very well taken care of. They're loved, they're cleaned and polished and sanitized and they have beautiful pictures and all of that. So I love all of these pieces. I just can't keep them all. So I wanna give them to people that can appreciate them. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite find is. You guys are really awesome with giving us feedback and information on all kinds of different things. So if you know anything about any of the stuff that was in this haul, go ahead and share it with us so we can all learn together. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. Also the notification bell to be notified of new videos whenever I do post. I'm trying to make the 75% off Monday hauls a little more regular because it's hard to upload where I'm at. Signal just either works or it doesn't when it comes to uploading. So I have to kind of keep the videos to a minimum now and be selective. So Monday hauls seem to be a good thing that you guys like. If you're interested in seeing regular life things, you can follow me on my social medias on Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. But for now, guys, that's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys. So this is putting everything away me. And I got lucky. So I was putting away the Port Merion dishes and they had an extra, a fourth of the medium plate in there in one of the stacks. Super exciting. So now I have a full four piece set of this one, which is awesome.